But what is up everyone, welcome to the video. Behind me I've got my 1998 BMW Z3 and as you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna tell you five things I hate Two about this car. Side, me in the middle. Now before we jump into this, there are a lot more things I love compared to hate about this car. If you haven't seen the video, 5 things I love, then make sure you go and check that out. You can click up here to go and watch that. But let's jump into it. If you do enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more. Let's go. Alright, so we've come out for a little scenic drive to kick off the first point in this video. Some really nice day today, but... This is one point that I absolutely hated when I first got this car. It's actually sorted now, but that is the tram lining issue. These cars, um, they kind of track the road a bit when they're completely standard. I think some years aren't as bad as others, and obviously it depends on how like bad your bushes are and things like that. It comes down to a lot of factors, but mine used to track the road quite a lot. And what I mean by that is it would pull you left or right if the road was like cambered or if you had a drain or something, it would pull you all over the road and it just didn't feel that nice to drive. So I hated that at the time. The way I fixed it is just poly bushes. I got some poly bush on the wishbones, I believe, and also decent tires. If you get decent tires and bush bushes, <coughs> All right, so the second thing I hate about this car, and this I do genuinely hate, and that is the noise the car makes when you leave something on and take the key out. It is absolutely disgusting. You come back in from a nice evening drive, all you wanna do is go inside and chill, and you are greeted with this fucking horrible noise. On a positive note, I guess it does alarm you and you do turn off whatever you've left on, but they could have chose something a little less aggressive because it's disgusting. All right, this one is one of those little minor stupid points, but like I said, it was very hard to choose points, so I'm gonna include this one. When you buy a Z3 standard, it comes with a massive aerial for the radio. It's absolutely huge and I hated it. It looks horrible. So I bought one of these little smaller aerials it's actually called a bee sting aerial but fuck me if there was a bee that big with a stinger we would all be fucked but the standard one goes like up there so this one looks just a lot more aesthetic and yeah i don't know not too sure if it affects the radio signal much but it was shit in the first place so i don't know this is something that happens on a regular basis probably 80 percent of the time when i go out and drive this car this will happen and it's very very annoying yes Whoa! Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down! Hey, what's the matter? What's up? Can you fit me in? What do you mean fit you in for what? For a bloody haircut! I need short back and size, mate, it's a Ma mess! What makes you think I'm a hairdresser? Like, 2.30, alright, on the dot. Alright people, I hope you enjoyed that little skit. Me and my nephew were just messing around, but legit, if you are thinking of getting one of these cars, that does happen quite a lot, so bear that in mind. Now, as I'm editing this video, I realised that on the day, I only filmed four points that I hate about this car. That is how hard it is to think about things, but I've managed to come up with one more point. It's actually two, but merged it into one. And the final thing I hate about this car is the lack of visibility through the soft top. Now, obviously, being a convertible, you can't expect it to be, like, perfectly visible out the rear window, whatever the hell you want to call it but because I live on a busy road and I've got a reverse out of my drive every day onto the road I can't really see much out the back window of the soft top they're not really the best for seeing through mine is a tiny bit misted up they do get like sort of misty quite quickly and you can't really do much about it so they're a bit shit to see out of basically that's not a major issue for me but it is another thing that I dislike and also the road noise now again being a convertible it's going to be noisy as hell like it's just going to be but it is quite loud when you're driving um, but pff, you just got to deal with it, innit? If you're buying a soft top, it's going to be loud. Anyway, that is five things that I hate about my BMW Z3. As I said at the beginning, if you haven't checked out the five things I love, click up here, I believe, and it will take you to that video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. There's going to be lots more videos coming, not just on the Z3, but on lots of other stuff. So please subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Leave a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what car you got, if you got a Z3, whatever you got. Or if you've got any video suggestions, then let me know as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.